Well, yes, uh, this is Ronnie McIntosh in the mix. And you see right about now, you're about to experience something big. I mean, real big. So don't go nowhere because coming up is Culture Share. You hear? Hey! <laughs> of Culture Share. You see, we're celebrating six years on TV here in New York. And gentle, it's been six grueling years, but we're still here. And we don't intend to give up. And today, as we celebrate six years of Culture Share on TV in New York, we're going to have a special program as we celebrate the pot puree of artists across the Caribbean. I am Harold Pysony, and we're going to make a first stop in St. Lucia. This is the reigning road march king, John T, in New York City, doing his famous bubble list. list. Anybody want to be on the bubble list? Where's your bubble t-shirt? Everybody go! On the bubble list, Siaga on the bubble list, Manly on the bubble list, Webber on the bubble list. So I want to be on the bubble list. Somebody put me on the bubble list. I got to be on the bubble list. Somebody put me on the bubble list. For when I was young, I used to play football. I was too short to play basketball. I used to try little volleyball. Nobody taught me to play ball. Everybody go. Play football, all you get is praise. Play football, you get a big raise. 
biggest cultural sons John T on culture share war is chaos it does nothing for the preservation of peace and once we don't get rid of certain things in life there'll always be war well what are the certain things we have to get rid of in life to prevent war let's look at singing Sandra devastation and destruction from ever since time began has been inflicted time and time and again by man against fellow man yet man wouldn't learn from history it makes him more violent producing deadly weaponry with nothing but evil intent so the war could never be over peace will never be seen long as man in his quest for power keep destroying Fellow human beings, fellow human beings, I tell you, you're nobody, nobody, oh, nobody. Well, when you really think of it, nobody wins a war. Mm-hmm. Because the agony of defeat will linger, nations still hating one another and superpowers. Just looking for more. Fall 
out from war is chaos. Plenty agony, plenty pain. Economy stepped in shambles that may never rise up again. Collapse of the money system, disruption of foreign trade. Thousands that die in battle Oh, what a waste of human resource Of course, look I'm telling you, nobody Nobody Oh, nobody But when I really think of it Nobody wins a war The brutal clash of ideologies Carnage and social anarchy so pity from the mention The falling back of progress and growth for entire generation Brother, the war will go on It cannot be won No, 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 the war will go on It cannot be won Just like a racket, it pays dividends for a few. But what does it profit the masses? I mean, laymen like me and you. While the leaders play in their chess game, using the masses as pawn with political propaganda, the massacre still goes on. The soldiers, they never started, but they give their lives easily. While those leaders are So you see, I know nobody, nobody, oh nobody. But when I really think of it, nobody wins a war. It has been the passage of history with the blood of the weak and the mighty. Great, great cultures. Wipe out in the massacre The enemy must be vanquished The battle has to be won no. But the conflict will never be over Cause the other need lingers on There'll always be more dictators More Hitler's, more Saddam Hussein's And with these lunatics in power It will just dance All over again Yes, the 
church coming out of singing Sandra there. Yeah, give me that old time religion in the Kaiso. Beautiful rendition, superb diction. Yeah, singing Sandra on Culture Share. And we're celebrating six years on TV here in New York. I am Harold Paisley. Stay with us. The sound of the boots is the beauty of the mass. Last week we started the documentary series on Dance the Calypso, the various ways in which people dance the Kaiso. And in part one last week we, we featured chipping. Today we're going to present part two, whining. Fuck, let me start it over again. everybody's whining and uh, it seems that even the young kids you know you look at carnival you look at children seven eight nine years old playing mass and, and they feel they have to stand up and choke their waist and whine and it's, it's a I don't know I suppose it is vulgarity really and it seems that this is what they just accept that they cannot dance to calypso music without doing it which I think is a pity really I don't think you need to go that far I don't find is anything wrong with it is where you do it and how you do it. And how you do it. Whining is we cut you. Why you call it vulgar? A little bit of wine. Just a little bit of wine. It's easy frustration to cool down the tension. A little bit. I think whining is our culture. Yeah. It's our culture. Yeah. They can't take that away from us. Um, I like to see little children being able to move to the rhythm mm -hmm. of Calypso and Soka. Um, but I think there's always a, a forum and, and a certain level, a level. where you mm -hmm. can always take it over that level where it becomes obscene. Trinidadians, I think when we get a little lick in our head, we tend to go over and then yeah. rel realize well, I, that was me, boy. Yeah. You know, so I probably lick has a lot to do with it. <laughs> A good wine is like a 360 at the waist. Yes. That's a good wine. Yeah. You know, and um, they have the sweeter wines with a fellow behind you yeah. controlling mm -hmm. the wine. Mm -hmm. Right, you know what that means. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and so there are different types of wine, um, and I think Trinidadians especially are really versatile, versatile in wine. wine yeah. <laughs> they can wine to anything, mm -hmm. anyhow, sitting down, standing up. It's the, the mood of the music and yeah. how you feel, and you, feel. you really have to experience the music. Yeah. A wine is a wine. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. Over the last five years, we've seen a different kind of dance characterized by each singer. Well, they come with all these different dances, and as I said, it's now an aerobics class. Well, it have walk and wine, stand up and wine, bend down and wine, touch the ground and wine, um, wine like a dog. <laughs> a lot of them don't deserve mention or description, but um, some of them self-explanatory. Perhaps where it really started to escalate, we go back to dollar wine when Colin Lucas really took that song and made it into almost a 20 minute presentation on stage, showing all the different types of wine and how we would wine if you came from England, if you came from North America, if you came from Jamaica. He really took that song and toured the world with it and was able to extend it into a, a whole story in itself. In the Calypso tents, the, the custom was to sing behind a board. So you never saw any movement from the Calypso, and you never saw any steps. And it is said that uh, Sparrow was one of the first Calypsonians to venture in front of that board. And before the night was through, three or four other Calypsonians got to the front. 
And then you started to see who could dance better, who could move in the stage. And people like Rash Shorty, I, who was known as Lord Shorty in those days, came to the fore. People like Blakey. And I think Sparrow stood out in his ability to move on stage. And he, was, he had a very characteristic way that he would um, sort of chip back and, and shake his pelvic um, section. So I think um, the whining might have started with uh, Sparrow leading the other Calypsonians to the front of the board. Sparrow has always had this kind of slow, sexy whine that he has put into all his Calypsos, no matter what he's singing. And now it's even in his ballads. I saw his last show where he was actually dancing and doing the movement. I think the earliest Calypsonian that really demonstrated a lot of whining on stage, believe it or not, was Calypso Rose. Calypso Rose was known in the 70s for her ability to raise the dress and, and do a little bit of a whine on stage and was always um, able to, to, to get a crowd reaction by her, you know, throwing the waist, as we would say. I think Marshall Montano is the one who really gyrates on stage, like you just cannot believe. I think Marshall Montano has emerged as the king whiner on the scene. His, his gyrating on stage now is unsurpassed. That youth man is some he has some energy there yes. that he's whining from his head to big toe. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's a and serious will, whine. And he will whine right through the songs. Yes, yes, yes. You know, um, that, I suppose that is a younger generation, generation. Uh -huh. where he, he, he has the stamina to, to hold on to a tune from the beginning and work it, work as it, we say. Yeah. Work the tune and seeing the performer whining and dancing like that, it gets you in the mood and you mm -hmm. want to dance mm -hmm. and whine too. Well, if you watch, uh, say, a, a, a band like Traffic today, you have three lead singers who are all gyrating at the same time. And they have perfected the art of, of whining. I mean, if you look at, say, half wine and a job, each one does his little part in the, the total uh, demonstration of the, the whining bit. Like everything else, it's not what you do, but how you do it. That was part two of the documentary series, Dance the Calypso. And today we touched on whining. And that was written, produced, and directed by John Barry. Next week it's part three and we'll be looking at the unique manner in which some Calypsonians dance to Calypso. Well, we're still going to keep under the theme of dancing as we go to Trinidad one more time and feature New Creation. That's a young dance troupe. And here they are at the March Grand Night at the Queen's Park Savannah. Come on.
me My name is Sweet Monterey When we sit up on the mic, it is a round party Can we go to London, rock a show on me When we sit up on the mic, it is a jam session Why not give a bomb? You got to roll it, roll it Control it, roll it, new creations on Culture Share. And we're celebrating six years on TV here in New York. I am Harold Paisley. Glad to have you with us. When an artist has a wide selection of hits, like Calypsonian Beckett does, it's always refreshing to hear him bring back an old timer in a refreshing manner as he makes it new again. Well, that's what Beckett did just last weekend in New York City to his Dig Me Kaiso, and he has brought on stage one of the young rappers, Cutty Banton, to give him some assistance. Let's go on stage. This calypso beat is hot and sweet. My calypso beat is extra sweet. Guaranteed to groove, guaranteed to make you move, guaranteed to grind, guaranteed to make you wind all the way, all the time. You better dig the calypso, dig it. You better dig the calypso, dig it. You better dig the calypso, sweet and groovy. Calypso make you boogie. Calypso make you get down The choo choo get down You don't like it Don't knock it But if you like it Dig it, dig it Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it huh. Calypso in the morning, Calypso in the evening Calypso at any time Calypso it a blow them my Whether winter, spring or summer time Just put them some buses like a nuclear Laughter and fun they just flat in the ear And Calypso music every man want to hear That at the time them start misbehave Now come down make a tip you know you're going clear Calypso with rhythm Calypso with soul Calypso destined For the musical world A beat for the young A beat for the old a beat for the babes, a beat for the in between us, the not too young, the not too old. You better take the calypso, take it. You better take the calypso, take it. Take it. Calypso sweet and groovy, calypso make you boogie, calypso make you get down. The choo choo get down, you don't like it, don't knock it. But if you like it, dig it, dig it. I dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Huh. Calypso in the morning, Calypso in the evening, Calypso at any time. Calypso it a blow them behind. Whether winter, spring, or summer time, just dance and shout out in your bed down low. To the hands strong and back the dread to. Grab up a woman and hold her right so. Hold her gentle across the table. Then you start to wind in a circle. And if it's sweet, you better continue. Calypso music at the start of the show. Crazy Bantana, you're fast and true. You no want to dance, I will make you dance When my music play, your body must sway Make you feel belong, make you feel like part of the band Make you want to jump, make you want to shake your waist Anytime, any place Take it, take it, take it, take it Calypso sweet and groovy Calypso make you boogie Calypso make you get down 
The true true get down, you don't like it Don't knock it But if you like it Dig it, dig it I dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it Dig it, dig it I dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it Do you know what you're going to do When you hear the drum beat of the ballets? I would like to know if you're not sure what you're going to do, this is what the pattern is pointing to you. Do what you want to do. Just dance like you're the pastor. Go and bend your back and then don't you do. Flick back your head and do the limbo. You could have tell you could have shot all you do, bro. You know the ear, man, you had the epitro. Cutty Banton on the rap. Give it up for Cutty Banton on the rap. Give it up for Cutty Banton on the rap. Because you know say you are, bro. You better dig me Calypso no, no, no. You better dig me Calypso well. You better dig me Calypso 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 You better dig 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 it You better dig 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 it dig it You better dig me calypso. 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 You better dig 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 it. You better dig 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 it. Calypso sweet and groovy. Calypso make you boogie. Calypso make you get down. The true true get down. Calypso sweet and groovy. Calypso make you boogie. Calypso make you get down. The true true. And you don't like it. You don't like it. But if you like it, I tell you dig it, dig it. I tell you you don't. Just over 20 years in the business and still going strong. Alston Beck and Cyrus, dig me Calypso. Getting some great help them to rapping from Cotty Banton. Culture Share celebrating six years on TV in New York with just over 310 shows produced over the six years. Never before in the history of Calypso. North America and Europe ever given such wide coverage on television and we're very proud of that. I am Harold. You stay right with us. We're going to make a Bajan connection coming up. It's going to be a long, long time and maybe never that Barbados will forget the kind of impression that Edwin Yearwood made on the Calypso and Carnival crop over business in Barbados for 1995. Triple crown winner and one of the most sought after artists in the Caribbean today. Edwin Yearwood from the band Crossfire making waves in music across the Caribbean, North America and Europe. Well, he paid a visit to New York just last weekend and set the place afire. Well, he began first by performing on stage with Ecstatic, doing his Pop Me Up. And uh, <laughs> if you think we're going to end there, we'll be having some more of Edwin in another capacity. But first of all, here's Edwin with Ecstatic. Let's in your massive put your hand in the air. Let me see you. Let me see you. Over here, over here. I'm 
Gentle. <laughs> All right. After he finished there with ecstatic, he made a total Bayesian connection. That's Edward E. Edward by going back to his band Crossfire and just look.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. The unique sound of Crossfire with the unique voice of Edward Yearwood. All happening on Culture Share, celebrating six years on TV in New York and still going strong. Gentle say he's still alive, and that's what counts, right, Gentle? You see, he's okay if I die. <laughs> I'll cry now, you see? <laughs> but he's a proud daddy because his son, Casey Benjamin, who is studying music, has just won a presidential scholarship, which means he can go to any college that he chooses here in the United States. And he has decided that he'll be going to Manhattan College. You see, that's very important because Casey, being the son of a, a Caribbean immigrant, is very important for the Caribbean community. And we know that we always talk about where the children of the Caribbean immigrants going where their head is and blah, 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 blah. But this is one young fella whose head is in the right place. Uh, he likes jazz music, lots of jazz music, and uh, don't worry, we'll get him into the pan jazz pretty soon. But um, he, just a few months ago, was on NBC with Grover Washington being interviewed in the morning, and uh, just this week, he was on CBS this morning being interviewed on the Presidential Scholarship, and his teachers had very good things to say about Casey Benjamin. But guess what? Since he can go on CBS, and he can go on, what's, what's the next network name again? Oh, is NBC okay? NBC, well, he better get his laurels here at GBTV because we have to talk to Casey Benjamin, otherwise he give daddy a big time whip. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we'll be having Casey to talk over that too. Oh, oh, by the way, he's going to see the president pretty soon. Boy, he better hide me that suitcase, boy. <laughs> All right, well, that's a wrap today, folks. It was great keeping you company, and it's been a great six years. Yes, there'll be, there's been the down times, but there have been much more ups than downs, and we intend to be here for another six more. I am Harold Bicity, and... I'm Gentle Ben. This is where it's at. Calypso Soca and Sweet Caribbean Rhythms. See you around next time. Have a great day. Keep the smile on your face, and keep hope alive, as Jesse says. Bye now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. They said we gotta go. I'm so sorry. Good night, one love. We love you, New York. God bless.